Okay, so I am Marcus Trice, and this is the beginning video for this muzzle loader project, the Shenandoah. Um, I believe it's from Traditions. Yeah. And part of the, I'm going to do this by hand because, uh, rather than put it on a tripod, because this is kind of a long uh, picture. And we've got all of our parts, our brass parts, the uh, uh, here, and we have the trigger components in here. It's out of the way. And I think this is the, the first part to inlet is right here. Okay, so this is the first part that needs to be inletted, and I don't know if you can see, but it's quite off quite a bit. This is before I'm actually putting on the inletting um, solution, and I believe that it's hung up on part of this in here. And it's not going over fully. So it needs to be here. And I'm sure that it's here. I'm going to put some of the inletting on here to show where the high points in the wood are over here. It looks like I got it to fit. It looks like it's flush. I'm not too sure. It feels flush. Okay, so next is to do some finishing work or um, taking out the imperfections in this uh, brass. It actually looks, the casting marks, but it actually doesn't look too bad. But I'll take a look and then uh, also once it's had the casting marks uh, taken out of it, we're going to use... Um, the uh, Prussian blue is actually what it is. <laughs> it's made by, uh, I think it's made by, who is it? Uh, Permamex. Um, but anyway, so we're gonna use that to mark up here to see where we can slowly take out and around the edges to get that perfect fit. So I used a file and filed off uh, some of the castings. They're still kind of rough and I've uh, measured it on here, and uh, it's actually pretty narrow up here. There's no, no need to draw any lines because it kind of meets up to the surface. All right, I'm gonna try to show how this is uh, fitted in there. You can tell. I'm gonna um, go ahead and um, pilot hole and put in the screws to secure it. Uh, this was very difficult. Um, to kind of get that relief in there. Um, it's still, you know, file, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, using a, a chisel. I mean, it's so hard to get such a fine edge on there. And I went over it with sandpaper, but it's still, I mean, you're, you're taking chunks out along in here, which can affect um, the line that you have in here. Well, this is a learning process, so. So I've installed the butt plate. I'm scared to go down any further on these screws. So now I'm gonna do the fitting of the toe in here. Okay, so I did a little bit of inletting in the back and then some filing in the front to get that angle. And now I'm gonna um, go ahead and do the, the uh, screws for this and finish this edge. This is a little higher than uh, the book or the videos, so it's kind of an interesting dilemma there. Okay, so I've, I've put in the screws down here for the toe plate. Um, there's something interesting about the instructions. It really doesn't give you an idea of which uh, screws are sc for what? Um, I, can, I assumed that the ones down here, but they were longer for a butt plate. And then there's, I think there's five of these. So I'm assuming that you got two here, and then three that go up in here for the uh, trigger guard. They're small, uh, tiny screws. Now I'm going to just go ahead and do a little filing on this here. And I'm not happy with this screw back here. It's in, but it's not quite centered. I centered it. 
whether or not I should have taken more out back here.